My legs are more tired than I thought. I thought I'd have learned to not fall down anymore, but I must be tensing my legs too much. I'm sorry, you must hate having a total beginner holding you back like this. I've always been able to pick up new skills when they become necessary, but I've never had to ski before. Murder mysteries may take place in snowy mountain retreats and novels, but it's not that often in real life. Cutting a telephone line in a mountain cottage during a blizzard is obviously suicidal too. <sighs> I wonder how long it's been since I last tried so hard to just have fun. I used to think that these frivolities were a waste of time, that they wouldn't make me any better of a person. <laughs> Though thinking back on it, I have to laugh. I was all alone then. I want to come back here again. That's fine. I'm sure it would, um, increase the efficiency of practice. Mmm. No, I wouldn't be able to focus on practicing at all. Shall we start heading back? The snow's starting to fall quite heavily. Which way should we be headed to get back to the lodge? Oh, well, I thought I was simply following you today, so I wasn't checking on our course. You don't sound very confident. But then again, I'm sure we'll get somewhere as long as we stick to the ski course. We should leave soon then. I can't go very fast after all. Um, is this really the right way? It's not that I don't believe you, but I feel that we've already been past this area. Could it be that we're lost? I don't want to admit it, though. This is a problem. The snow could be concealing small rivers or cliffs beneath us. I don't think we should be walking around aimlessly. Actually, I'm reaching my limits. I know. <laughs> That's what they say in the adventure novels. Please, don't go too far ahead. I'm feeling anxious. Uh, huh? Look! Isn't that a cottage? Thank goodness. Even if that place is empty, there should be things there. We may be able to get ourselves warm. Let's go check it out. Excuse me, is anyone here? Mm. Huh? It was unlocked. I wonder why, though. Some places don't use padlocks because they've been known to freeze shut in extreme conditions. Let's just consider ourselves lucky for now. About it not being locked? True, that does sometimes lead to crime or assaults, but we should be all right. I don't suspect anyone is here. If there was, it would be warmer in here. Um, do you happen to have your cell phone? I tried making numerous calls while we were lost, and my phone's battery has run out.
this is a problem. Could all the snow be disrupting the signal? The blizzard isn't calming down either. I doubt it will last long, considering the weather here in the mountains. But this still isn't good. We may be indoors, but the cold is a very real threat. <sighs> b by the way, um, warming each other with our bodies would be ineffective in our case. That only works when your clothes are wet, or one person's body temperature has been significantly lowered. Uh, right. No one asked for details. Sorry. But on a more serious note, we do need to find a way to warm ourselves, or we'll be in trouble. Ah, upon closer inspection, this sunken hearth uses charcoal and not firewood. Thank goodness. If we can get some ventilation in this room, we'll be able to use this. Now we need something to start a fire, but a place like this should have some tools available. Seems we won't have to worry for the time being. Ah, Prometheus. Thank you for fire. This is, well, a more effective way to get warm. We can't let any last bit of heat go to waste, after all. <laughs> Where could we be? I thought that we'd been walking towards the lodge. Even once the blizzard settles, it's risky to walk around in the mountains at night. It seems we have no choice but to stay here. Hmm. Strange. We're in quite a pinch, but some part of me is actually enjoying this. All alone with another, stuck in a mountain cottage for an entire night. <laughs> Yikes. I think this feeling is referred to as the suspension bridge effect. Senpai? Um... That turned on right now, correct? Why? Yes. I can't pretend it didn't happen. Whoa, Senpai? What are you doing? That... You should stop doing that. I, I mean, this is hardly an ideal location to be trying this. Stop! Before you go too deep! Doing. This isn't that kind of mystery, Detective Prince! Stop! It's just an incredibly romantic situation up on a ski trip! Don't give in! Everyone! They're still dressed! Why would they take off their clothes in this freezing weather? And dude, why are you guys so flustered? What is up with you guys? Are you really asking that, Kanji-kun? Now, John, were you waiting for an audience? Ha! How shameless. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. But okay, I'll take a front row seat and... I, I'm having a hard time understanding what you're trying to get at. You came to rescue us, correct? Actually, since when were you all outside? Don't tell me you've been here the entire time. No, I mean, not on purpose. It would have been awkward to interrupt before, but... So, you're saying that you were spying on us. Hey, we came because we were worried about you. More to the point, what are the two of you doing in here? We needed to examine this TV here in greater detail. The TV? Why? It's not plugged in. Come on, guys, don't try that lame excuse on us. That is not an excuse. It's the truth. Senpai attempted to go inside the television and... Why are you looking at me like that? Huh. So you got lost found this building, and then things started heating up. You obviously aren't listening to what we're trying to tell you. 
The TV turned itself on even though it isn't plugged in. Since the Midnight Channel is no more, we need to investigate. There's no way we'd risk ourselves to come to this stupid little shack just out of some impure motives. But this building is right behind the lodge, though. We were told that it's a storage shed. They don't lock it because workers come here often during the day. And it's not like there's a blizzard or anything. Maybe you just saw a reflection from the ski lights or something. That's impossible. Then again, I don't think Naoto-kun would lie about something like this. And since we're all here, we might as well check out this TV. Hey, wait a sec. 